let's say I come to work and they bring a sample. Uh, first of all, we ask what you think this might be. So we go through the thinking process. Um, then if they say, oh, I need to know the composition of this compound, then I'll go into the lab and first of all, I'll take pictures of that sample. And then from there, I'll go and, and go into an stereoscope and look the sample in a, uh, in a higher resolution. Then the first thing I will do is uh, FTIR, which that is Fourier, Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy. And it's a non-destructive technique. So I, I will not destroy the sample, but I will, be, I will get an idea of what is the composition of that sample. And if they allow me to destroy the sample, then I will do uh, gas chromatography mass spectrometry, which actually will tell me more information about that sample. A lot of those little um, techniques, I actually learned them while I was in college. Because uh, in analytical chemistry, you learn all the techniques that a chemist will actually need to actually analyze a sample. So in any given day, that's pretty much what I do. On occasion, then we'll do, um, if they need more specific tests, then we'll, for example, on a polymer, we'll analyze a glass transition of the polymer or a um, um, the thermogravimetric analysis, which is to know the burn temperature of the polymer. Uh, we do dynamic mechanical testing. So a chemist do a variety of things. It's not only chemistry related, but we also look sometimes at physical properties from those chemicals too. So it's not only analyzing the compound and knowing what, what's the structure or the composition, but at the same time, what can that compound do? Uh, what, what, what other things that compound can be used for? So we do a little bit of everything as chemists.